Hey, thanks for stopping by Old Smoking Steve's. Normally we're cooking up something out on a big green egg, smoking up something, air frying, sous vide cooking. But today we've got something special. We're going to be doing a review on a sand shark uh, shallow water anchor. So uh, all you boaters, all you people that know somebody that has a boat, or maybe you're thinking about buying a boat, or maybe you rent a boat, or whatever, uh, we're going to be doing a review on this uh, shallow water anchor. Here it is. It's a beauty. We're going to be doing a show and tell here on this one. This is the Sand Shark Ultimate XL. That's one end of the uh, price spectrum. And uh, we have this one here. It's called the uh, Sand Shark Sport Anchor. This uh, is all uh, snapped together for easy carrying purposes. You have the handle and three pieces here. And here's the auger. And that all snaps together and you screw it in. But uh, this one here, we're gonna be doing another video review on this one. But for today, we're gonna be doing a review on the Ultimate XL. Uh, now, I don't know about you guys, but when I get ready to buy something, I normally uh, uh, look at all the reviews, uh, do a little shopping, I do a little comparison. Uh, but uh, that's why I'm doing this here, guys. I'm doing it for you. Uh, I can see it, touch it, feel it, go out and use it, and uh, uh, tell you what I think about it. And uh, you folks out there, make your own judgments, uh, do your own comparisons or whatever. I can just tell you what I think about this one, and I'm not going to try to sway you one, or not, one way or another. Uh, if I like it, I'm going to tell you so. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you that. But uh, when I was doing my research, I ran across this website. Uh, I looked at several different anchors, and I ran across this website, uh, sandsharkanchor.com. And uh, right away, I fell in love with this anchor. Uh, after seeing some of the others, uh, I got to thinking about it. Uh, I'm thinking that auger is going to get the best bite. That's going to hold you steady and uh, keep you where you want to be. So uh, I, I got a little chat session with uh, Dwayne there at the website, and I told him, uh, you know, I belong to a boat club, and I normally take out a, a 23, 25 foot pontoon boat uh, to a place called Lido Beach. And, uh, well, on one side we have Lido Beach, the other side we have Siesta Key. And out here, we got the Gulf, and that Gulf rushes in, in between, right there, right between Lido, and I like to uh, beach it there at Lido. And that current pushes the, the stern of that boat back around into the shore, and it could do damage, uh, plus you're gonna have a hard time getting out. So I was looking for something that I could use to uh, keep me in place. And uh, today, uh, we're gonna be doing a little show and tell here at the house. Then we're gonna be leaving, going out on the boat. We're gonna take it out to Lido Beach and we're gonna see if this baby can do uh, what it's supposed to do. Now, I think uh, I think it's going to. Uh, otherwise, I don't think Dwayne would have, uh, uh, you know, sent these to me and uh, had me do a review. I mean, he's not gonna want a negative review, right? So uh, I'm thinking it's gonna work. Uh, but yeah, you can get on there and chat with him, uh, tell him your situation, and uh, uh, he's got the anchor for you, no doubt. Uh, not, not only does he have the Sand Shark Ultimate XL, but he has uh, a couple other sizes in this same thing right here, smaller. And this baby's so long, and it extends to five foot four inches, okay? And the other end of the uh, spectrum is the uh, plastic one I showed you. And they have things in between those two. And they have different styles. So, uh, you know, whatever your budget is, uh, you can find something that will work for you. So, uh, let me show you this guy. It's really put together well. It's a solid piece. It's a solid piece. has this handle here. Nice and solid stuff. Nice and solid. Okay, 
Uh, what you do, uh, let me show you this other piece here. They have this uh, rope. Right here. It's about seven foot long. It's a bungee rope and it stretches. Stretches, okay? Seven foot to 14 foot. It all stretches. Okay? And the reason for this is that their theory is that this rope, being a bungee rope, will take the blunt of the force instead of the anchor taking the blunt of the force. That, be, that way there'll be less pull on that anchor. But even if you use the regular rope, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to work anyway because that baby's going to be dug in the sand. Uh, now we screw that uh, auger in. To me, it's kind of like quicksand. You screw that auger in, and as you screw it in, that sand follows that auger, okay? Just keeps filling up that hole. Then in comes the water. I mean, it's like a big old suction cup down there. So, uh, uh, you know, you go screw it in maybe a foot or so, and, uh, uh, or whenever it gets too tough to turn, uh, but I'm thinking that's going to work and it's going to hold you in place. But like I say, we're going out on a boat and we're going to find out. Well, let me show you this. I don't know whether you can catch all this or not, but you pull this pin and that stretches out. And they got that auger sitting on the floor. So you can see how tall it is. Uh, I'm roughly six foot tall and it's almost as tall as I am. So uh, what we're gonna do, what you do when you're out on the water, they call this a shallow water anchor. This uh, rope, this bungee rope, has a little uh, clasp on it. And you're gonna clasp this onto uh, one of your cleats on the boat. The other end has a loop and you're going to loop that around this guy right here well, just like so and you're going to pull that rope tight and get that boat to where you want it and then you're going to start screwing it in now i think it's best to uh, leave this rope loose here and let it float with the water let it go up and down or twist and turn whatever you want to do uh, whatever the boat wants to make it do and uh, uh, it's going to be less pull on this anchor as well, doing it that way. Also, let me set this aside. It comes with this nice case, nice carrying case. Sand shark. Got a couple nice handles here. Uh, I just unzips. And there's a little heavy piece down here for that uh, auger to sit down into so it's not going to rip the bag. And it's big enough to uh, hold uh, the anchor, the bungee rope, and this little guy here. This is a little float. Uh, Sand shark float. Uh, you can either tie this onto the uh, bungee rope and uh, indicate where the rope might be in the water or tie it onto the anchor and uh, uh, do it that way. But I'm really excited about this, guys. Uh, this is a quality piece right here. Let me see if I can get her back together here. Okay. It's nice. It's pretty. Uh, if you'd like to go uh, uh, island hopping or go to the sandbars uh, and beach it there, uh, whatever you like to do, uh, I think this is going to get the job done for you. And uh, 
we're going to certainly give it a try out of Lido Beach. And uh, to me, if it holds there, it's going to hold uh, uh, about anywhere. Uh, now this XL, uh, it's rated for uh, a 23 foot long boat and bigger. Uh, now, if you go down in size, uh, it's go, the next one, uh, it's a large, I think, and uh, it's good for up to 23 foot. So there's different sizes and uh, different products there. So be sure to go to their website and check them out and uh, chat with Dwayne, tell him what you're looking for, what, you, what your needs are, and he'll fix you up. No problem. So uh, let's get out of here. Let's go to the boat there in Sarasota, and uh, we're gonna head out to Lido Beach, and we're gonna give this baby a try. Here we are on Sarasota Bay, heading towards Lido Beach out here, just a few minutes away. What we're gonna do is uh, beach this pontoon boat and give that anchor a try. We're gonna see if that baby's gonna hold up. I know it's a beautiful piece of equipment. It's made solid, but let's see if it's really gonna work. Here's that ultimate sand shark XL. We put uh, our boating buddy Bud to work again. He's screwing that baby in. Got the bungee rope attached. We got it attached to the cleat on the stern side of the boat. He's screwing it in. Uh, I don't know whether you can tell it or not, but the waves and the currents coming in from the Gulf pushing the stern of the boat trying to kick it into the sand. So uh, we're using this to uh, help prevent that. So how's that working out, bud? Pretty good. We'll move this down so you can hold it. Okay, there you go. Seem pretty... Uh, you can go tight. Yeah, it's pretty tight there. Is it? How far did you go down, you think? You can up and put down maybe eight or ten inches. Eight or ten? But it's, 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 Drink our favorite beverages, and uh, we'll check back on this, see how it does. This is what she looks like, guys. Bungee rope, Sand Shark Ultimate XL, holding that stern steady. The waves and the currents wanting to drive that stern to the left of the picture there. And uh, actually, that's got that stern pulled to the right a little bit, so... Uh, we're going to let it sit there and uh, see if it holds steady. Okay, this Ultimate XL has been screwed in there for well, about three hours now, and it hadn't moved an inch. And that, holding that boat steady, uh, this is what we're looking for, and it looks like this thing uh, really works good. So, guys, uh, thanks for watching the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed the review, and uh, give me a thumbs up, and I hope to see you on the next one.